homes under the Hammer presenter Martel Maxwell was reduced to tears over a previously homeless mother and son's renovation plans in an emotional new episode. Homes under the Hammer's Martel Maxwell was chatting to a mum who had once been homeless, and the heartwarming renovation proposal planned by her and her 16-year-old son left the TV host speechless. Nicole had purchased a mid-terrace house for £115,000 in Nuneaton and was planning to team up with a local charity or the council to offer it to a formerly homeless person like herself looking to get on the ladder towards their first rental accommodation. The show guest's son, Jeremiah, told Martel, I feel very proud to say that Nicole is my mother. I feel like she's just done a lot and she helps a lot of people and I feel like it's a beautiful thing to do. Martel could scarcely stop herself crying as she praised the kind-hearted gesture of the mum. Who admitted she couldn't wait to see the look on the tenant's face when they received the keys? Wiping away tears from her eyes, the BBC star gushed. It's so lovely. As a mum I would love my child to be towering above me one day and saying I am so proud of you, mum. But what she's done is incredible just amazing, well done. Nicole had been explaining about her own housing plight, a situation which led Martel to get emotional. I, myself, was homeless so I kind of know how it feels, the mum began. So when I do actually rent out a place it's done up to not a luxurious level, but it's done to a decent level. You see the look on a person's face when they actually get the keys and they're excited and it just makes me feel nice, so I think that's probably why I do it. Jeremiah then cheekily admitted that while he was restricted to a bid of no more than £100,000, he hadn't exactly paid full attention. I had to go and meet a friend in town and I let Jeremiah be in charge and I was like, listen, do not go over £100,000 that's literally our budget. She warned him, sensing alarm bells. Martel joked, oh dear, before broaching the subject of what her son had bid. He shot back. I may have bid 115,000, maybe a bit over budget, but I saw it as a good investment for my mother. The pair also broke a golden rule on homes under the hammer by opting to bid blind and not to see the property before making an offer. However, Martel told them, I am not gonna give you a hard time anymore for not viewing the property. Because frankly it doesn't really matter, does it? Anything can be fixed. Jeremiah chuckled sheepishly in response. And while there's plenty of renovation work to be done, the pair seemed confident they'd find a way to tackle it. A ceiling had collapsed in one of the bedrooms, leaving water pouring in from a broken roof, while rotting wood had wrecked skirting boards, and cupboard doors were falling off. Peeling wallpaper was an issue, with the prospect of damp looming large too. But Nicole vowed that they'd aim to fix the issues, using a budget of £15,000, within five weeks, and a deeply emotional Martel wished the ambitious pair well.